Hi, welcome to Oko Hamster. Today I'll be viewing this GGMM wireless digital speaker in the models M4. And before I go into pros and cons, I just want to show off some of the specs for it. And it can play a wide range of audio formats. It has built-in Wi-Fi, so it's Laleo 211 BGN, also built-in Bluetooth, Bluetooth port 4.0 with aptX. It's got a built-in battery that provides at least 10 hours consistently, and total combined power output 40 watts for the speakers. It's a 2.1 channel, and it supports iOS, Android, including AirPlay, which I'll demonstrate shortly. Here's the user manual for this unit, and I just want to show a few pages. Is because there's quite a few ways of setting this unit up. Over here, just goes over on setting up the strap, but this part is also important because this one shows the different types of modes. There's status LED and how to switch between each of the modes. On bottom is the Wi-Fi setup. This the setup process is set up using the GGMM Music app, and it is free in the iOS App Store or the Google Play Store. You can connect this device to your home Wi-Fi or connect to it directly using the direct Wi-Fi connection. And even if you're using direct Wi-Fi connection, AirPlay still works with your iOS device. You're also able to connect to this device directly by using the provided auxiliary cable. The speaker comes in four different colors, blue, brown, red, orange. The one I got here is orange. And here's the front. Then we have on top, starting from the right-hand side, the power the mode, the base. Above the power mode and base, there's an LED indicator. And the LED color also changes for the mode depending on whether you're in auxiliary mode, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and these are the volume controls. Side over here, well, this is like a little handle, leather handle that came with it. And on the back, we have, starting from the right-hand side, auxiliary in, the 18-volt 3-amp input. That's the power requirement to charge this unit. And here's a reset button. On the bottom, it's got two non-slip pads. To power the unit, I'm going to press the power button, hold about three seconds to power the unit on. And now it's a little purple LED over here. That's because the last time I turned it off, it was in the Wi-Fi mode. And it will turn a solid blue once the Wi-Fi has been established. All right, now it's a solid blue. Here's my iPhone. I'm going to swipe from bottom up and enable AirPlay. I'm scanning my network and it has found the GGMM M4. I'm going to select that and hit done. So now GGMM M4 is shown on the bottom over here. I'm going to launch something from my music collection. Hit play. Raise the volume a bit. For this speaker, on top of here, the bass button, if I press that, it will enhance the bass. I'm just going to press it now. I don't think my, speak, my camera speaker will pick it up, but the bass has increased a little bit. Or the bass again. And pause on the music. Another benefit is their multi-room music system over Wi-Fi. What that means is that I can connect up to 10 wireless speakers. I can put one in every room of my house and just have them all sync up, play the same music. That's essentially creating my own personal surround sound. Now, I don't have more than one GGM speaker right now, but that does sound very attractive. I'll recommend the speaker for a couple reasons. Great audio quality, very powerful bass. I love the design, solid construction, this, this leather feel to it. There's a couple ways of using it, whether it's Bluetooth, auxiliary, Wi-Fi. It works with my Pandora, my Google Play, any of my streaming apps. And you can also connect multiple speakers to it too, to create a surround sound system. So yes, I would recommend this. Well, thanks for watching this review. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching Hamster.